Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be discussing some Flash Season 8 news that we got released um, over the past 24 hours. One the set of news, and then one at least a couple hours ago in point I'm recording this. Both are related, which is what I'm doing in one video. So if you enjoyed the video, hit the button down below, subscribe if you're new, and enjoy this video. Before we get into the video though, I do want to point out that <clears throat> I just started up a new Arrowverse podcast on my new Arrowverse podcast channel. There's already one episode out there. There'll be a new episode every single Wednesday at 9 a.m. Central. Um, I go over what the podcast is in my first episode. So go check it out. Subscribe to that channel. And if you do things to support over there, they support over here. Enjoy this video. So a couple hours ago, at the point in time recording this, and it was also um, related to yesterday... The Flash was filming at a cemetery, um, which would lead you to believe funeral scene, <laughs> you know, in season eight. And Candace Payton, um, who plays Iris West Allen, I'll say on The Flash, um, posts on Instagram, and I'm quoting, Till death threw us part by you first, and then hashtag funeral attire. Um, you can see the screenshot on the screen now. Um... Like I said, they were filming in a cemetery yesterday. There were no set photos taken of that, but they were filming there. Um, so there will be a funeral scene as his name. Um, we don't know who it is, obviously. People are saying that it could be Caitlyn or Frost or Cecile, because there's no way it would be Joe after everything they went through in Armageddon, um, which I do agree. I, considering they already, quote-unquote, killed Joe off, and then brought him back, like, killing him off a second time in one season, that's kind of, I don't know, I, I don't like the idea of that. <laughs> maybe because it's like, maybe it's because I love Joe, but, I don't know, I I don't see that being the case. I see it either being Kate Frost, or a certain two other characters that are coming back, and I mean Firestorm, aka Ronnie Raymond, and Eddie Thawne, who we know are coming back, I'm assuming, to life, <laughs> um, in present day, I'm assuming that's what this is, um, and then I was with the funeral scene, maybe they're gonna rebury Eddie and Ronnie, like, put them back in their graves or whatever, and they do a funeral for it, maybe that'll be the case? I mean, it, it'd be kind of, I don't know how it would work, <laughs> if that is the case, I mean, it make good sense, I mean, they're here in the present, whether they're back, brought back from the dead, I mean, if you're looking at a funeral scene, the top two options would be the two people that came back to life and are more likely to attack and bury. And then whoever brought him back to life goes away, like the prisoner or whatever, maybe he dies, whoever it is, and then everyone he brought back to life dies, which would mean Eddie and Ronnie die again. Maybe that's why the funeral scene is happening? That or it is Frost or Caitlyn. At the same time, I don't see it being Caitlyn. Um... Now, if you want to look into it deeper with the actors themselves, um, Daniel Panabaker, who plays Caitlin Snow slash Frost, is currently pregnant with her second child. The last time she was pregnant, which is during at the end of season six, um, the last episode of season six was going to be her last episode for that season going into season seven because she was on maternity leave. Now, because COVID screwed that season up at the end, um, she wasn't gone for any episodes, I don't think. Maybe one, but that was Max, because she came back after maternity leave when they were filming season seven. Um, so, we don't entirely know if she'll be going on maternity leave during season eight, considering they're filming, I think it's 8.14? I'd be surprised if it wasn't that. Yeah, 814 was the last stuff we got. So I'm assuming it's 814 or 815 um, of season 8. It's going to be something. <laughs> um, so, which then again leads to the question, you know, what's going to happen after that? <laughs> like, is this season 815 episodes or is it 18? Because this scene, this the funeral scene, if it is episode 14 or 18... Could very well be like um, a finale to a story arc. I could see that. And then have three episodes for another story arc? I don't know. But something tells me 806 will be like part of an interlude. Because I don't see that being its own story arc. 
Um, so let's just assume 806, 807, probably 808 are all interludes, I'm assuming. And then like 813, or 809 to 814 is one story arc. And then we go into a big story for the last few episodes of the season. I'm assuming that's what's going to happen. I don't see them continuing it, you know, having one big bad for the rest of the season after that interlude. Um, which I'm sure we'll find out as it gets closer, if that is an interlude, or what the hell it is, we don't know, um, but I'm sure we'll find out when it gets closer, because I don't think Grant's in the episode, and if he is in it, it's just redone scenes, like, he did this, took scenes from season 7 finale and season 8, and just, like, 805 or whatever, and just put them in there, that's pretty much what it's probably gonna be, um, I'm assuming, <laughs> um, so, there was this leak going around, if you want to call it a leak or set photo, of, I'm assuming one of the producers or whatever on the show carrying a specific comic book, um, again, of The Flash, um, which could very well tie heavily into this. Um, as I was saying, you can see a producer on set, again, I'm assuming it's a producer, someone on The Flash set, talking to Grant with a couple of people around him, and the one guy is holding a Flash comic. And it's very interesting because um, it's called the Legion of Zoom, which is where Professor Zoom, a.k.a. the Reverse Flash, in the comics it's called Professor Zoom, but the Reverse Flash as we know him, um, forms a team of villains focused on revenge and destroying Barry's life. That consists of the Flash villains from different pat points in the timeline. Now, in the comic, in the cover at least, it shows Captain Cold, um, several other people, Gorilla Grodd, and I can't really recognize the other people. But the interesting thing here is that Barry is kneeled down crying in the cover of the comic book in front of a gravestone. So, something tells me this story arc... It's going to be, like, really good. <laughs> Just from this, what we saw, I think it's going to be really good. But I'm also kind of warning if this is how they're going to play it, if they're really going to follow the comic where Barry loses someone he cares about and it won't be Eddie or Ronnie, even though he does care about him, I mean, they're already dead. They're coming back from the dead. I, I don't see this being a case of... Thawne time travel, brought them back, made them evil, because they never hated Barry. Ronnie and Eddie never actually hated Barry or the Flash. It was, like, so, bringing, especially Eddie, it wouldn't make any sense to make Eddie a villain if they were bringing him back from the past. He would be coming back from the dead, which I think is what they did. Um, I'm assuming that's what they're doing. Um, but, again, the most interesting thing here is that Barry's kneeled down broken in front of a gravestone because of what Reverse Flash and his legion of whatever you want to call it, supervillains, uh, killed someone that Barry cared about. So I think the question is, who is it going to be if it's not Eddie or Ronnie? And if I'm completely wrong on this, which I more likely am, could it be Joe or Iris? Which I don't, it's not Iris, because I don't know why I said Iris. It's obviously not Iris, because she's wearing funeral attire. Um, it, it could be Frost, it could be Caitlin, it could be Cecile, maybe Allegra or Chester, I don't see that being the case though, um, maybe Sue, I, I don't think, well, no, I don't, we don't know if Sue's back, but, I mean, it could very well be, like, a just throw up in the air here, um, I don't see it being Joe, as I said earlier, they already killed Joe off in Armageddon, and then they brought him back. And that was a whole thing. So I don't see them killing off Joe in this era. Now, I don't know who died in that comic book. I'm assuming someone died in that uh, comic. I just paused the recording for a minute. So if there's a weird cut, that's why. Um, I'm wanting to see if I can find anything else about the comic book that was shown. Not because it really showing anything was going to happen to the show. But I just really wanted to see what it said. So, the villains that showed up in um, the comic book, Legion of Zoom, um, is Reverse Flash, obviously, created the whole thing. Gorilla Grodd, Captain Cold, uh, Golden Glider, 
uh, tr Trickster, and Turtle, Tornado Twins, and that's it. So, it could very well be, like, something that's different. Now, the, the Tornado Twins is obviously Barry Storm from the future, which would be in this show, because um, they're not going to change it. It's normally Dawn and Dawn, D-A-W-N and D-O-N is Barry's children in the comics, or the future children at least. So Tornado Twins are just what they are. Bart and Nora aren't that. So, I mean, if they really wanted to bring back Bart and Nora pff, again, which we're getting them at 806, maybe they could bring them back again? I don't know. I I don't want Bart and Nora back for this. I think it would be perfect if it was just Barry fighting whoever Thawne brings back. Obviously, it's going to be Thawne. And Eric Wallace said at the beginning of the season that, um, I'm trying to find it. He said, and I'm quoting, there will definitely be some familiar faces from the last seven seasons who show up once more in unexpected ways. Thawne, Eddie, Ronnie, they're all coming back, but that's a few. I mean, if you really want to surprise everyone, bring back Zoom. Bring back, you know, someone else. Savitar, if you want to. I mean, Thawne knows the timeline. He knows it. He's going to be the one orchestrating all this crap, <laughs> right? So, I mean, you bring in Zoom somehow, some way. And from the looks of it, this bad guy brings people out from the dead. So, there's Zoom for you, <laughs> I guess. Um, you know, and the guy who played Zoom literally posted a picture of the Zoom Master Season 8. Asking if we'd like to see him. I mean, why else would you do that if you weren't going to be in it? <laughs> you know? Unless you're just, like, legitimately asking, do you want to see him in it? <laughs> but I think this would be the perfect time to for the show with the with how good the writing is just innate so far and how good it looks like it's going to be for the rest of the season. They could very well make it to where Thawne brings in Zoom, where he brings in these other big bads. Um... Someone was saying they're probably going to bring in Captain Cold. I don't see that being the case. I could see Gorilla Grodd because of Thawne. Probably manipulating Grodd. I don't think Golden Glider has been a thing in the Arrowverse since season 1 of Flash or 2. Whatever it was. It's been a long time. Um, so I'd be surprised by that. Turtle? Possibly. Maybe Turtle 2.0. Who knows? But they're both fine bars. So it's like... Who knows there? So I don't see this being like right out of the comics. What I do see being read out of comics is whoever died in this comic book that Barry cared so much about. Whoever that is, I'm because again, he's kneeling in front of it. Like, he, he's broken. And the first thing that crosses my mind is obviously Iris or Joe that would do that to Barry. But at the same time, it's like, you want to kill off Iris and Joe, <laughs> you know, like right now, because of what we've just got. So I think the next logical answer, like everyone's speculating, is Caitlyn or Frost. Um, which I think is much more logical than saying it's Iris or Joe. Because it's like, like I said, we just want the whole storyline of Joe being dead. And he came back at the end. Iris is going to be at the funeral alive, so it wouldn't necessarily make sense for her to be dead. <laughs> you know, so... Who knows? It's obviously not Iris. I it more likely is not Joe. If it's Joe, I would be genuinely surprised um, at that. But again, it's a show, and I do want to point out their writing season eight is so much better. I do think this is going to be one of the best seasons the show's had in a long time, considering it already is for me. Because the Armageddon was so good, I don't even know people were nitpicking it, kind of being annoying as hell. But I do think season eight is redeeming the show in many ways. So, you want to look at how you want to look at it, but this next story arc, after the interlude, because I'm assuming 806 is an interlude, part two of probably like three episodes or so, the story arc after, or maybe the story arc even after that, who knows how long the interlude and the story arc after, but whatever the story arc is, it's his name, where Eddie and Ryan come back from the dead, where there's a funeral scene, and whoever the big bad is where Thawne's coming back, I mean... I was just what this is. Thawne's coming back. We already knew that. Justin O'Martin, who played Joe West, teased that last week. 
He said, if you like Towns vs. Flash, get ready, because it's going to be big. Um, and obviously, this would be a big thing to do. And it would make perfect sense, because Thawne, as we all know, plans things to the T. So he would know where to go. He would know who to get and when. Because if you really think about it, every villain the Flash has fought over the last seven years has either turned good, died, or has lost their powers. And if they haven't lost their powers, they're in prison, and they're more than likely are not getting out unless something big happens. So Thawne would have to pick the exact timeline, or different timelines, but it has to be the exact point to go before their team Flash's timeline stops the certain villain. Like if it is Gorilla Grodd, stop Team Flash from trying to turn him. If it's Captain Cold, get him while he was trying to kill Barry that one time. Like, even though Barry could easily talk over Captain Cold, that would be Thon's, you know, get to plan here. Like, he went to plan the entire thing out to get that to work. And again, like I said, and the, everything on the show, really, to Thon, he's a planner. We know that. So, this would be perfect sense. For it to be thought and for it to work exactly how the comic worked. Which would be really cool to see in live action. And especially on the show. With the run that's been happening. I think it really fit well with the show. So. Let me know your opinions in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. Stay safe. I appreciate all the support. Check out my podcast channel. In the, the, in the description down below. Um, and I'll see you guys when I upload next. Bye guys.